Good morning everyone! Welcome to a new series on this channel called Coffee Shots and for the first episode we will be covering Twitch's addressing of the leak. Now we covered Twitch's leak yesterday on the stream where apparently a hacker leaked the entirety of Twitch's website onto 4chan. Now I had a theory yesterday that this was not necessarily a 4chan op. I'm not entirely sure who's responsible for this, but I do not think that this is a, 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 a 4chan thing, and I did say that yesterday. Now, what, what was leaked was apparently the entire website, its source code, connect history, uh, server tools, uh, payout histories for contributors and creators, just all sorts of things, uh, passwords, all, all, just everything, 125 gigs, uh, in a torrent link was posted on 4chan and the hacker's motive, according to them, was to foster further discontent and competition in the streaming space for Twitch because according to them Twitch's community is disgusting toxic cesspool and they are going to pwn Twitch. Now I do uh, I did say yesterday that I do not remember hearing the term pwn used unironically in quite some time so this is just just little things like this just kept making me think that this is not necessarily a 4chan thing now let's get this started here we're gonna read the update let's read the update here so amazon's twitch blames configuration for error for data breach. And this is published October 7th from Reuters. Now let's get down here to the body of the article. Video Games Chronicle had earlier broken the story. So, and this is, this is true. This is where it came from. The platform said it was still assessing the impact and that it had re uh, reset all stream keys or codes that allow influencers and streamers to connect and publish content for users. Uh, Video Games Chronicle had earlier reported that an anonymous hacker had claimed to have leaked Twitch's data, data including the source code and information on its clients and unreleased games. Yes, this is another thing that was released. Uh, if you if you missed the stream, they did also apparently leak that Amazon was planning to release a video game competitor to Steam, and they were calling it Vapor. Just another little thing that kind of doesn't sound quite right. I I don't think that that is actually the name of it if there is such a thing this is just another thing that makes me believe that this is a little bit of an op earlier this week facebook incorporated had blamed a quote faulty configuration change during routine maintenance work at its data centers network for near for the nearly six hour outage which prevented the company's three billion users from accessing its social media and messaging services. So this is, I, I did point out that these two things do seem very, very close together. I don't think these two are a coincidence, although nothing seems to have been stolen from Facebook. Definitely things have been stolen from Twitch. And the fact that the both companies are basically saying the same thing is the reason for for both problems is also a little suspect to me just just as in my humble opinion 
The social media giant later confirmed that the error was not due to any malicious activity. So that's in Facebook's case. Quote, Facebook basically just removed themselves from the internet, but they did not lose any sensitive information for, for Twitch. It was just bad fortune, said Candid Woost, an executive for cyber protection research at Acornus. Uh, unfortunate is a... Very large understatement, sir, but that's that's besides the point. A configuration change, which essentially means a routine maintenance change of an IT infrastru infrastructure from turning a network drive on or off or giving it a, a new name, possibly allowed a third party to access Twitch's data, Woost said. If that is the case, then that person is either the most unlucky tech or should really go back to the college they graduated from and ask for a refund on their degree because that is a mistake that is enormous in Twitch's case like absolutely enormous what happened to facebook was annoying for facebook what happened to twitch that is completely not not acceptable uh twitch a popular platform among video gamers where they interact with users while live streaming content said there was no indication of any exposure of user login credentials the platform also added that it does not store full credit card details. Yeah, most people pay for bits and subs with PayPal. So, like, it's not all credit card that that is paid for, for or that is used to pay for stuff. And I don't know how you can say that login credentials don't seem to have been exposed. Like, who do we believe? Do we believe Twitch? Do we believe the hacker? Do we go and expose ourselves to whatever craziness the hacker may have embedded in that that torrent link to find out exactly what he stole? Do we do we dare implicate ourselves in downloading stolen data? Like is this just a ploy to get people to download this torrent to put something on their computer that has nothing to do with what he says he has like how do we know that twitch's login credentials haven't been stolen i i, I honestly don't know who to believe here about 125 gigabytes of data was leaked including details on twitch's highest paid video game streamers since 2019 such as a, a $9.6 million payout to the voice actors of popular game Dungeons and & Dragons and $8.5 million to Canadian streamer X, X Cow, I think it's called. The report, or the report said, quote, Twitch leak is real, includes significant amount of personal data, cybersecurity expert Kevin Beaumont uh, uh, tweeted. So yeah, this is when I don't understand how Twitch can say that there have been no login credentials exposed at the very least. And what about everything else? Why are they not commenting on anything else? Twitch, with over 30 million average daily visitors, has become increasingly popular with musicians and video gamers. The platform, which was boycotted uh, earlier this year by users for not doing enough to block harassment, previously made a move to ban users for offensive offenses such as hate group membership and credible threats of, viol of mass violence. Yeah, or, you know, banning people like Lauren Southern, who... You know, while I don't really like her, I don't find her a part of a hate group or 
inciting mass violence. But hey, that's besides the point. So this is Twitch's, you know, answer. And it's honestly not very satisfactory because they don't address anything else. And I don't know how they can say that login credentials haven't been exposed because there are people saying many people from that, that, you know, are credible and are on their platform that are saying, no, things have been leaked. So I, Twitch, you, you, you need to be forthcoming. You need to, for once, be forthcoming with at least your creators and at most everyone. Thank you for watching Coffee Shots. If you like this and you'd like me to do more, please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to support my content, please consider picking up a coffee mug, a My Eyes mug, at teespring.com slash my eyes. Have a great day. We'll see you on the coffee stream tomorrow.